What is going on everybody? This is Visual Intelligence and welcome to another exciting graphics tutorial. So in today's tutorial we'll be using um, Adobe Illustrator and also Cinema 4D to create some really nice um, Arabic calligraphy kind of uh, 3D style uh, which I came with recently. Someone asked me how to make this kind of effect so if you, anybody else is interested which I'm sure there is um, uh, let's actually uh, go ahead and uh, search for calligraphy to kind of make it 3D and uh, um, add some materials to it and make it look a lot better. So, what I have here is on freeislamicscalligraphy.com. Uh, I found this really nice uh, image, so I guess I can work with it. So, what I want to do is we want to right click and then copy uh, image. Let's go to our um, Adobe Illustrator and then edit, paste or control V. So, zoom out a bit. Uh, we want to trace the um, right in here. So, uh, a really cool way to do it is obviously image racer. Let's just click it. The default um, settings are okay. We just want to uh, mess with them a bit. So. Uh, let's bring the image racer panel. Let's go with advanced. Let's see. Maybe we want uh, 76, 75 percent corners. Try paths. We don't want a lot of paths. Maybe 50 is good. Or maybe 40. You want a good trace for this so that looks great uh, check the ignore whites we don't want the whites to be uh, separate and let's create that and what we want to do now is just click expand and this will create our outline for us really nicely so what I can see here is uh, maybe we have some line here we want to get rid of it by the way we you really don't want to have single lines, uh, especially when you import it in Cinema 4D. You want to, all your uh, paths to be closed so it can extrude it uh, nicely for you. So, let's go ahead and go to File and then Save As. By the way, uh, this is just a new document. You have to create a new document. It really doesn't have to be the same size since it's a vector, but you have to make a new document to base your text obviously so go to file save as uh, let's save it in the desktop name it bad save and the format here is has has to be illustrator 8 uh, or as uh, other or as Cin cinema 40 on, on uh, recognize it so make sure it's an illustrator 8 document let's hit ok it's going to give you some warning and uh, some options are, are totally grayed out really doesn't uh, important really not that important to you guys so click ok also click ok whatever I really don't need read warnings so <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't do either so let's go ahead and Create a new document. Let's merge our path. It's in the desktop. Okay. Let's go to our path and then click PSR uh, reset. And this will make it in the exact center. If you don't have it, just click Shift C and to bring this command to you. Uh, just type reset PSR and uh, you're gonna have it so um, yeah next step is to um, remove the parts that we <coughs> really don't need maybe this one is not closed so we don't want to have it let's make this individual let's make it out of our path <coughs> 
we want that to be on the same group as this one so group let's group them together select these two objects hold G and then main you want the main right in to be in the um, we want the main right in to be white and the uh, dots to be red or some other color so we want to have two main groups so that's what I'm going for <coughs> and uh, this looks great in my opinion so let's go ahead and add a uh, connect object to the first one and uh, another connect object to the second one you want it to be uh, <coughs> a child of the connect so yeah next thing is you want to have some extrude same for both you want now the, ch the connect object to be a child of the extrude object so the extrude objects will extrude it like happily so that looks really nice we don't have any kind of problems which is always great uh, you sometimes have some really uh, mess when you deal with the uh, really uh, complex shapes so we don't have that so that's great we want a little more thickness to our extrude maybe 30 centimeters looks great we want some caps tri faded cap radius one I don't want much so maybe one or two maybe two to the job two steps to have uh, a more round corners and this looks really uh, cool so uh, next part is to uh, have some uh, shading some <coughs> some cool materials to it so let's go ahead and uh, Take some uh, really nice Lightroom in here. Uh, this tutorial is not about creating Lightrooms. If you don't have to, if you want to make kind of learn how to make Lightrooms, uh, I'll be pleased to put a link in the description so you guys can learn. But this is uh, kind of more how to create the uh, object that we are doing. Uh, we don't have to really concentrate on the uh, uh, Lightroom. Well, we're just gonna use a preset, and of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna be linking you to that preset on, on the description, so you don't have to worry about anything. So with that said, let's um, go back to our new project. Let's select everything, Control C to copy, and then go back to our Infinite Studio that we just did. Control V to paste. Scale it down a bit. I'm using the scale object, the scale option. Maybe you want to go to the camera and uh, decrease the focal length just to have some really dramatic. Maybe 28 looks great. And now, if you zoom in, you can see um, the focal length uh, effect, like what it what just did so let's actually render that to see the lighting and it looks fantastic so one other thing to do is to add a material to it we obviously want to uh, have some nice colors so maybe white or maybe slightly grayish white it depends on what you're going for um, we want some reflection so let's add some texture for now and uh, this just to make it look realistic and uh, let's drag it by holding uh, while holding control so it creates a nice copy of it so double click it again let's go to the color and then choose some really um, nice red whatever you are comfortable with uh, I find this to be uh, awesome so let's drag the red object on the um, little parts group and the white objects on the big parts group 
So let's actually give that a render just to see how that will look. And uh, as you can see, it looks really nice. You can zoom out a bit to see, and um, it looks fantastic in my opinion. Uh, I really like this effect. You can always uh, change the color of this to have to be like uh, any color you want, basically. So um, let's go ahead and go with some blue, and um, let's play with the angle a little bit. So yeah. Go to our light rig and maybe I'll check the scene by camera. Let's give that another render, and as you can see, it really looks a lot um, nice. So um, I actually uh, prefer the red uh, one. So yeah, uh, as you can see, um, we created this really nice uh, extrude to our. Arabic text in no time so that is always great and uh, thank you guys for watching thanks for um, passing by my channel uh, I hope you guys uh, find this useful even uh, if you're not actually in Arab um, you don't have to be in Arab to, to make this um, cool effect so if you have to kind of have this effect there's always this website so you can you guys can uh, go and explore in this website and then let me actually show you. Uh, and it has a lot of uh, cool uh, calligraphy, ad calligraphy. So you guys can find this uh, website useful. I'll be linking you to it in the description. You can choose whatever uh, path you want. Uh, you might not want to have this full page um, path, but you definitely want to have some really basic stuff like this one or this one and uh, you can you always know how to extrude it and make it look a lot better in Cinema 4D now um, you can always by the way um, uh, make it uh, as a path on on Adobe Photoshop but you don't have uh, so many um, uh, uh, settings to adjust so um, Illustrator is always the best choice make sure to get it uh, I will be linking you to it on the description. They give you a 30 days trial. So if you want to, you can like spend the 30 days uh, rasterizing or vectorizing objects. So whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, so I don't want to take a lot of your time, guys. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to also check my other tu tutorials. You can. I really find them useful and um, peace.